In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a symbol in Flash. So you can make pretty much anything a symbol. So we need to have something on here. So I'll go ahead and make a star real quick. So use the poly star and go to settings. So I've got a star and I'm going to change the stroke to a little bit brighter color. I have a shape to make it a symbol. I need to select it so I can I could either double click on it to make sure I get the stroke and the fill or I can just draw a box around it. Then I can right click on it and I want to convert to symbol down here at the bottom. Now when I do that it's going to give me an option to put in a name and I always want to give it a name. I'll just call this star. I also can choose a type. Um, this is just a graphic and most of what we'll do will be just graphics so we choose graphic and you don't really need to do anything in advanced and we just hit OK. <clears throat> now when I, when I look in my library over here I see that symbol. So what I can do is I can keep dragging this over basically as many times as I want. So it's a symbol I can reuse now which is nice because I don't have to keep remaking it. Now if I want to change the way the symbol looks if I double click on it over here in my library now I'm inside the symbol and you can see up here in the top left that I'm in scene one that I'm inside the star which is what I called my symbol so now if I change this so let's say I go back to properties over here let's say I change the fill the green and I change the stroke to maybe I want a a black stroke and I want to make it a little bit wider Okay. now when I go back to my stage so I click cl uh, click on scene one it changes all the instances so each one of these on my stage is called an instance and so it's an instance of the symbol it's one copy of the symbol okay so when I change my symbol it's gonna change all your instances on your um, stage okay so that's important to remember now if I want to change just one of them what you can do is you can break it apart so if you hit command B it'll break it apart and now you could change just one of them. So if I want to make this maybe black, and maybe I want the stroke on this to be green. So just exactly the opposite. Whoops, of what it was. Okay, that's how you can change just one instance of it. And then if I wanted to, you know, I could go ahead. I can highlight all this, and I could group that so it's a group. Okay. So that's how you can work with symbols and that's how they can be useful because you don't have to keep remaking something over and over. You can just drag over an instance of it.